here we are going to continue our series on the dance of planets on a viewer request we are going to see the path of saturn this time so here is our earth and the sun and by definition we call the distance between them as one astronomical unit and because we are standing on earth what we feel what appears is as if the sun is going around the earth so let us show the so called orbit of the sun as it appears on earth and uh, this is nothing surprising uh, although we are moving in space the entire earth is moving in space faster than a bullet if we are standing on that bullet we'll never see the motion of the bullet instead what we'll see we'll see the entire universe the whole world zipping past us something like that is happening here uh, let's continue uh, with other planets so i'm going to zoom out a little bit and we'll start seeing jupiter as well of course we have seen uh, the orbit of jupiter last time but uh, i have included that just to make it more interesting and to get a comparative idea by the way the radius of jupiter in terms of astronomical units is about 5 and a quarter so 5.25 astronomical units uh, let's zoom a little bit more so here is saturn and that lies at about 9 and a half astronomical units from the sun now just because we are placing ourselves on the earth and observing from there that shouldn't change the fact that both jupiter and saturn are orbiting the sun so when we plot the orbits of jupiter and the orbit of saturn they will appear to be centered around the sun as it uh, factually is so let's zoom out so let's see how it moves so now we are seeing the earth at the center then over here is the orbit of sun one astronomical unit radius then this uh, mid size orbit belongs to jupiter about 5.25 astronomical units and the outermost circle here represents the orbit of saturn okay, the largest orbit that we are dealing with today. so let us set the system in motion once again and this time we'll be not only plotting the position of the planets but we'll also be tracing the paths that they follow and you can see there is a beautiful path traced by jupiter and saturn is following suit on the outer track over here now beyond aesthetics these paths also hold a rich treasure of information and learning so we'll stop the motion over here and we will zoom in to say this part of the loop so let us first see the entire path let us now zoom in to this part over here and we will analyze the motion from say this point of the orbit or the path to this point if we consider that part of the path say from point a to point b its direction is like this but if you compare that direction to the general direction of orbital motion which is which happens to be this direction then the two are opposite to each other so at this point the planet will appear to stall and then it will slowly start moving in the backward direction gathering velocity its speed will be maximum in the backward direction at this point and then it will slow down and stall again at point b then from point b it will be moving in this direction which agrees with the general direction of orbital motion so we call this green part of the uh, path as the forward path and this path the red path ab is called the backward or retrograde path in fact this retrograde motion is the motion that got planets noticed in the first place that uh, over the backdrop of all the fixed stars the planets appear to move forward most of the time but then stall move back a little bit and then again continue forward so that is why they were called as planets the wanderers so with this knowledge now let us observe the paths once again so we'll let it go for 30 years which will happen in a few minutes for jupiter as well as saturn and you can see uh, you know more things like uh, jupiter's path has 11 loops and uh, saturn takes 30 years so you can guess what is the number of loops there so we can either count them or we can calculate them and confirm as we complete this path so this is a dance of planets and this time it is not solo 
but we have two planets doing it together. Uh, thank God it's not Tango. Their uh, orbits are uh, much separated, so we don't have any uh, you know, uh, cosmic calamities colliding with each other. And there, the cycle was completed. Thank you for watching.